Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make these delicious buttermilk biscuits and I will also be teaching you how to make some honey butter to go with it. These biscuits are fluffy and they taste really really good so let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by cutting 5 sticks of butter into tiny cubes. Leave about two tablespoons whole without cutting them into cubes. Place the butter into a bowl and then put them in the freezer. Now pour one cup of buttermilk into a measuring cup or container and place that into the freezer as well. Freeze the buttermilk and the butter for about 15 to 20 minutes. In a large bowl or measuring cup, sift 2 cups of flour. Then sift 1 tablespoon of baking powder. 1 half teaspoon of baking soda, 1 half teaspoon of salt, and 1 tablespoon of sugar. Now take your butter out of the freezer. In a blender, pour in your dry ingredients. Then add your frozen cubed butter. Blend everything up until everything is well combined. Pour your mixture into a large bowl. Now shred the other two tablespoons of frozen butter into the bowl. Whip out your wooden grandma spoon and start mixing everything together until well combined. Then add your frozen cup of buttermilk. And one tablespoon of honey. Stir the buttermilk and honey into the dry ingredients until your dough is wet and sticky. Pour the dough out of the bowl on a floured surface. Add some flour to your hands and then begin to gently knead your dough. Now 
Add more flour as needed, just enough so the dough is manageable. Pat your dough into a 1 inch rectangle or a 1 inch blob. Well, uh, the shape doesn't technically have to be perfect. You can use a ruler to make sure your dough is 1 inch. It helps a lot. Alright, now dip a cookie cutter into the dough to cut out your biscuit. The ones I'm using also work as biscuit cutters. Continue to do this until you run out of dough. Make sure you flour the inside and outside of the cookie cutter so the biscuits don't get stuck. We're going to be cooking our biscuits in an iron skillet. I put about a half a tablespoon of butter inside the skillet and then I placed it inside a preheated oven. Once the butter was melted, I took it out of the oven and then spread the melted butter all across the skillet until it was well coated. When you're finished doing all that, you can begin placing your biscuits inside the iron skillet. Now we're going to brush a small layer of heavy cream on top of the biscuits. When you're finished, bake the biscuits in the oven at 425 degrees for about 14 minutes. Then turn up the heat to 475 and cook them for an additional 3 to 5 minutes. Or until the tops of the biscuits are golden brown. Now we're going to make some honey butter. Place 4 tablespoons of softened butter into a bowl. Then add 2 tablespoons of honey. Then mix everything together until well combined. It might be easier to use a whisk for this. And that's it! That's how you make honey butter. Go ahead and brush some butter on your biscuits. You can also add just plain honey on top as well. And that is it! You are all done with your buttermilk biscuits. And they taste absolutely delicious! They are just so fluffy and buttery and good. It tastes awesome. Adding the honey butter with it makes it taste amazing. Adding plain honey with biscuits is 
awesome, by the way. I didn't know how good it was until my parents told me to try it, and it was really, really good. Honestly, I always thought they were weird for putting honey on biscuits, but it totally makes sense now. I mean, I still like to put strawberry jam or uh, grape jelly on my biscuits, but man, honey takes it to another level. And then honey butter? Oh my goodness. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Everything I used in the video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!